So this is a 310K John Deere backhoe 2014 model. I had issues with the solenoids. And uh, so what I did was on this next video I'm going to show you is I took uh, a speaker wire basically and put one to the hot on the battery, one to the ground on the battery, and then plugged in a, a dummy switch or a dummy plug that works on those solenoids. So I had an extra plug laying around, so I, I used it to test. So this is how you test and see just see if the function of that solenoid is, is working or not. So this sound here is a lot weaker. It's not a click like you'd think, and it's, it's the one that was faulty. So this is the solenoid. I took it out and cleaned it with uh, uh, some some spray cleaner. Uh, it was not, it doesn't seem to be dirty or stopped up or anything like that. I went online, found a generic one for $134 as compared to the John Deere part, which is $650. Uh, and I put it in place of the one that wasn't functioning correctly, which was the forward gear solenoid. After I placed it, the tr uh, the backhoe went to working like it should. I had already completed a complete and thorough transmission clutch pack rebuild, so I knew something wasn't right somewhere else because the clutches were built right. So I replaced the solenoid, and uh, it ran and forward just like it was supposed to. Took it to the, the gas station and filled it up with diesel and drove it back on. So all it was was a solenoid issue. Solenoid changed, backhoe runs.